the absolute best free games you can play as of right now, September 2022. That is what we are here to talk about today. There are massive games coming like Guard of War Ragnarok that offer amazing single player experiences, but those cost a pretty penny, 60, $70, depending on the game these days. But don't forget, there are a lot of free to play games or games that you can just happen to get free right now that can offer hundreds of hours of good time for nothing, unless you wanna pay stuff like battle passes and things like that. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I have like five, maybe six games I wanna talk about that I think are all deserving of at least an opportunity to give them a chance. And I don't wanna waste any more time. The game of the summer for me has been multiverses. I've played like 40 something hours of this game. I don't play a ton of fighting games for that long. It has the amazing Warner Brothers properties. They are doing a decently good i would say job with dlc morty is already in the game lebron is already in the game iron giant already in the game with a lot more to come such as black adam gizmo from gremlins is coming to the game along with stripe i believe of course rick sanchez to accompany morty i will say that rank not being in the game yet is a huge bummer but the developers do a really good job of communicating with us and we know that that's coming season one is running until november you can jump on right now it's still early enough for you to be able to fill out that battle pass if that's something that you care to do it seems like the momentum might have slowed down just a little bit but there are a ton of people still playing there was 20 million at one point they announced people playing multiverses it's fun enough that it's good for just light casual gaming and it's also hardcore enough if you care to get deep into it that there are all these mechanics that you can spend a lot of time trying to master I love it. I can't wait for rank mode. Arcade mode is coming too. I'm not as excited for arcade mode, but they have a lot of really good stuff in the works. The developers are doing a good job communicating with us, letting us know what's coming. So yes, multiverses game of the summer for me. It's amazing. I'm going to do my best to not fill this list with battle royales. There's a lot of them. Call of Duty and stuff like that. I'm not going to mention that. But for me, Apex Legends is, is just the most fun and the best first person battle royale we've seen. Of course, Battle Royale has just kind of taken over gaming as we know it. Everything is Battle Royale. Probably every major franchise is either messing around with trying to create a Battle Royale or they've made one and it failed. <laughs> Hi, Ubisoft. I'm looking at you. We've heard rumors of a Halo Battle Royale. We've heard rumors of a Battle Royale for pretty much every franchise. But for some reason or another, Apex keeps being the most fun to me. Every season, they introduce a new legend, which gives you a whole new kit to mess around with usually they add guns i believe this season they didn't really add a gun as far as first person shooter battle royales this one's really good because of the movement being the way it is there is an incredibly high ceiling for skill if you practice and you just try your best to get really good at it but it's also accessible enough that you can just jump in there and have fun every once in a while and that's what i do i go through like these little periods of time where i'm like really hardcore into it and I rank up and I play ranked and everything's great. But then I step away for like weeks at a time. That, that That's probably where I'm at right now with the game. But I jump back in for this video specifically. And I'm probably going to keep playing now that I started. The new legend is amazing. It's really hard to keep a game like this alive and exciting for so long. The fact that Respawn just keeps doing some really awesome stuff. That's to be commended. Now, of course, this game's going to have a little bit more competition later in the year because Warzone 2 is coming out. Warzone is not on this list at all. But as far as first person a battle royale, this is it. I don't think there is another first person battle royale on this list, so let's move on. Okay, I wanna keep things different. So we're gonna go to Fall Guys. Every game I've mentioned so far is different. Multiverses is a fighting game, Apex Legend, a shooter. Fall Guys is like you're playing a game show and chasing that crown is as addictive as ever. Ever since the game has gone free to play, it wasn't always free to play, it's just pretty much come back to life. Not that I ever really died, but they have a bunch of collaborations that are presumably in the works. We recently saw a Sonic event where, of course, your beans could have outfits for Sonic Tails and Knuckles and the levels were themed Sonic like. And this is another one of those games that's just perfect for just jumping in with your friends whenever you have a chance and then just like forgetting about it. It's very simplistic. You just run, jump, dive, grab. That's it. It controls very simply. So you'll be able to remember how to play even if you stepped away for a long period of time. I've never played Fall Guys and got bored. Every time I stop playing Fall Guys, I don't actually want to stop playing Fall Guys. I've just happened to play it a couple hours and I don't want to waste too much time because there's always more to do. I think by this point, you either know 
that you love Fall Guys or you're just like, okay, Fall Guys isn't for me. If you haven't given it a try, I do recommend you do so. The game is really fun. The community is thriving right now. It's not anywhere near the peak of popularity where it used to be, but the community is still really strong and they're going to continue to keep adding new events and skins and stuff like that in order to keep everyone happy. Fall Guys continues to be an amazing time. And again, if you haven't checked it out, do so. It's great. You'll thank me later. This next one is the only other real battle royale on the list. I guess you can argue that Fall Guys is a battle royale, but barely. Rumbleverse. This one, I struggle with a little bit because I suck at it. I'm not very good, but the community is there and people have been doing some really great stuff with this game. It reviewed really well. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere for the foreseeable future. It's not the biggest free game in the world, but the fan base that they have is so loyal and the gameplay is pretty deep. It's basically battle royale with melee based attacks. Think like wrestling, like a wrestling battle royale where you get to shoot yourself out of a cannon to start a match and then just go wrestle. I'm saying wrestle, but you also like melee you use abilities. There's like rockets and stuff like that but but don't get it twisted melee is definitely the focus out of all the games i mentioned this is the one that i've played the least but it's also the newest it has the potential to be really really cool if they start introducing partnerships with other franchises the way a lot of other games like fortnite and fall guys do they're not doing any of that quite yet it is exclusive to epic gaming store on pc which is kind of annoying but not the end of the world really and this is one that I look forward to trying out some more because like I said, out of all the games I'm mentioning, this is the one that I've tried the least. Okay, the, la the last one I want to talk about here is a little tricky because they just released a roadmap today and people are very upset. People are saying Halo Infinite is dead. And, you know, maybe they've done a terrible job with the live service aspect of the game. But damn it to all hell if Halo Infinite isn't fun. I had a blast recording and capturing Halo Infinite footage for this video. I was recording this prior to the announcement of their roadmap. The roadmap isn't that great, I gotta be honest. But just pure gameplay wise, this is a more traditional arena shooter. No battle royale or anything like that here, at least yet. Maybe that's coming at some point, but at some point could mean five years from now at the rate that the development of this game is going. Was it released too early? Probably, yes. But the gameplay is still so finely tuned, almost perfect that I wanted to mention it because I don't want this game to die. I want this game to have a chance to just really reach peak potential because the potential, it, it, it's unfathomable how they messed this up so badly, but it has all the potential in the world. I promise you that Halo Infinite is really, really fun. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of new maps or anything like that. What we have in the game today is pretty similar to what came in the game on day one back in December. And that part's a huge bummer, but I wanted to mention Halo Infinite because it still holds a special place in my heart. I hope that the developers can turn it around. They just canceled couch co-op in order to focus stuff on the live servers aspects of the game. So as far as a free to play game, hypothetically, it'll be cool going forward. But, you know, we'll see. 343 Industries needs to really take responsibility for the launch of the game and what's been happening. And I hope that they do because this isn't what this franchise deserved. This, this isn't what the fan base of the franchise deserved, but I still wanted to mention it because it's still just really fun to play. It's one of my favorite free to play games, period. Okay, so that's it. The, that's the free games, the permanently free games. But I want to just mention two things very quickly. One, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is the last part of the newer trilogy for Tomb Raider. That is free from today. I'm recording this on September 1st to the 8th. It is free. Go check it out. It's Uncharted meets Tomb Raider. It's probably the best out of the three Tomb Raider games. Uh, we've had the previous two Tomb Raider games be free at some point or another. This is on Epic Game Store, by the way. I didn't mention that. I just told you it was free and I didn't tell you where. Uh, it's Epic Game Store. Go download it. You keep it forever. Even after the 8th, if you download it at any point, it's just yours to keep even after the promotion expires. So check it out. And the last thing I want to mention, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but Mafia the original game from back in the day is free on Steam. Go check it out. It's the 20th anniversary of the franchise. We just got news that they're working on a new one that's going to be a prequel. And yeah, Mafia is a cool game. The visuals are like really old. It's not the, the remastered or definitive edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your favorite free to play games are. There's still a lot that I didn't mention. I didn't mention Warzone, didn't mention Fortnite. There's, there's a lot. But the five that, that I picked as the best free to play games right now, for me, bar none, that's it. I don't think it gets any better than that. And there is pretty good diversity in them. Again, from multiverses to Fall Guys to Apex Legends 
Halo and Rumbleverse, they're all dramatically different games. It's not all first person battle royales. And that's what I loved about this list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Member, special thank you to you. Guys, if you're not a member, go ahead and join. <laughs> New membership is always welcome. Help the family grow. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys are amazing. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We're almost at 5K. You guys are rock stars, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.